나 별로 안 좋아하는 사람한테 하고 싶은 말 있어요. 오케이, 뭐? 오케이. 어쩌라고! So well, well, well. Yungkook just dissed haters, huh? Seems like K-pop idols, especially the BTS members, are getting much stronger to fight back haters these days. After V warned some people to watch their backs for creating his dating rumor, then Jean directly shut down the mom rumor. This time, it's Yungkook who just clapped back at haters right on BTS's online concert permission to dance on stage. You know, ever since his debut, Yungkook has constantly struggled with tons of unexpected controversies, especially the recent fusses regarding his tattoos and backdoor advertisements. Facing criticism, the male idols always decided to keep silent. However, looks like Yungkook has had enough, because in the latest BTS's online concert, when the song So What plays, he took advantage of a few seconds of the intro to deliver a strong message for haters by yelling out loud the words So What with all his strength. Well, after witnessing that, fans got super excited about how confidently Yungkook spoke out to address those who always drag up everything to bring him down. This unexpected move is breaking great storms across the internet with tons of praise. However, there are still lots of netizens who disagree with Yungkook's actions. They said that because this is BTS's concert, where all the seven boys would showcase their performances to armies, does it make sense that Yungkook used this special event to bash his own anti-fans? Why didn't he choose another occasion to speak up in a more direct way if he was so confident? Well, seems like no matter what Yungkook does, his actions will always be seen in some negative ways. Well, while Yungkook's clapback is talk of the town, fans are also super worried about V's health issue. Specifically, due to a calf injury occurring in rehearsals, the male idol couldn't participate in any choreography for BTS's online concert. Instead of freely dancing on stage like other members, V had to be confined to a chair, limiting his movement during his performance. Right after their concert, V took to Wevers to apologize for being unable to dance properly. I will come back even cooler. You guys bought expensive tickets, so I'm sorry I wasn't able to sufficiently show a good performance. Well, it's such a shame not having to see V dancing at this special event. V was really looking forward to this concert, we can see how deeply he felt disappointed. Moreover, BTS is gonna hold offline concerts starting next month, bringing BTS permission to dance on stage to Sophie Stadium in Los Angeles on November 27th to 28th and December 1st to 2nd. This means that currently, the boy group must work so hard to bring the best performances for all four stages. Thus, fans are afraid that V's health could get worse for the time being. Whether V can get a full recovery ahead to the shows? Well, hopefully, he'll get well soon, and whether he can dance or not, we will still enjoy everything he brings to the performances. Well, singing in front of fans is always a desire of every single K-pop idol. However, unlike BTS who is gearing up for a series of super big concerts, Espa hasn't gotten such good luck yet. Since debuting in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, the rookie group has never had any live performance. Unbelievable, right? Of course fans are sad, but the Espa girls seem to be even more upset. Appearing on the latest episode of the show Knowing Brothers, the four girls touched fans' hearts when revealing that their future dream is to perform on stage with thousands of fans. Tears welled up in her eyes, Karina shared, When I was a trainee, I thought that if we debuted, we would be able to meet our fans. However, up to now, we could only hear the cheers through the speaker sound effect. The place where we met the most people was at the MV filming set, because there are lots of staff members. I always imagine the day when I would see the real audience. If that's the case, I'll probably cry. Ego, to be honest, I couldn't hold back my tears watching this moment. It's such a great disadvantage for the talented girl group when they haven't had any opportunity to sing in front of fans ever since their debut. With their talent and visuals, Espa truly deserves lots of live performances and even concerts all over the world. Hopefully, the pandemic will pass soon so that the girl group and Mize can stand together in the same sky. That's the news for today. Do like, share and subscribe to KBiz Hub if you don't want to miss the juiciest news next time.
Bye-bye.